here at the San Rafael Research Center, our R&D lab for Element One Technologies. And today is a very big day because I'm going to be testing for the very first time a new blend of hythanol. Uh, this hythanol is made for uh, internal combustion engines, piston engines, uh, also Brayton cycle engines, that is a replacement of regular gasoline, including jet fuels. So what I've done is I've made a different chemical structure or formula for the hythanol uh, to allow for a higher lubricity on the internal parts of the cylinder. So we don't have over a long period of time a lot of wear. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be running the very first batch that I made of this new hythanol. And I'm gonna be running it on, it's a 10 kilowatt, Generac, and it's now modified that it runs on uh, regular hythanol and also hydrogen. Now this is, I've modified this generator to run as a dual fuel generator, and it will run both fuels. But what I wanna do with this new batch is add a level of lubricity to it that will allow for uh, an extension of the lifespan of the actual uh, engine itself. So I'm going to rig this up and get this prepared. And then after that, I'll come back and we'll get this thing a go. What I have here is the Generac, which is actually running on hythanol. It's liquid. Uh, that's already in the tank. But I'm going to start this up. And as you come over here, you'll see that the fuel tank and the fuel feed is on and it's coming out of this tank. So then I'll get that started up. It starts up very easy with hythanol, by the way. my inverted flask, hythanol, the new batch of hythanol, in this feed, and we have this tube connected all the way down and goes into the fuel filter here. Now, we started this up before on the regular hythanol that was already in the tank, but as you see, that is disconnected now, and it's turned off anyway. And so this is the feed line that goes directly into the batch of hythanol. And what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to start this up, which there's already uh, hythanol in the carburetor. So this is going to start up regular hythanol, and then it will start sucking the uh, new batch of hythanol into the carburetor. So let's see what happens. This is what I've been waiting for.
for me because one more time, uh, an idea that I had that woke me up at five o'clock in the morning to redo the chemical uh, structure of the hyphenol paid off. Um, yeah, big day.